I am Dr. Abhishek Das, Assistant Professor of Royal School of uh, Medical and Sciences, and I shall be the moderator of this session of the ongoing ARGU Departmental Webinar Series titled Averting Musculoskeletal Problems Due to Work from Home Culture During the COVID 19 Pandemic. In the beginning, I'd like to welcome our esteemed panelists and all the participants in this session. Against the picturesque backdrop of the Tirupati Palaji Temple on the National Highway 37, the Assam Royal Global University stands high with its virtue of excellence and humble contribution to the society at large. The campus is built over 27 acres of land and is running various courses under 27 different schools for faculty, PhD, and PhD students. The Assam Royal Global University has been ranked number one among the top private universities in Assam by the education world for the year 2020-2021. I would like to request all the participants to mute their audio and turn off their video for smooth operation of the webinar. The novel coronavirus has changed everything overnight. The lockdown was enforced and social distancing became the new norm. People are staying connected with their friends and family through video conferencing and the school colleges and universities have started to give online classes on video conferencing. Even the corporates and the authorities around the world have no other option than providing flexible working conditions, including work from home. As a matter of fact, the Assam Royal Global University has been working from home for a long time now. It is one of the biggest changes the world witnessed. Although work from home has become the new normal, but it has some demerits. People are more now, people are now more set and less physical, and as a result, a number of health issues have arisen. Today, I would like to request our esteemed speaker, Dr. Nishat Ma'am, to educate us how to prevent some of the musculoskeletal disorders in this work from home culture. Before moving into the session, I would like to request, uh, I would like to welcome our very energetic and ever smiling VC Sir, Professor Dr. S.P. Singh. Sir is a well-known clinician and administrator, having dynamic and enterprising personality with more than 30 years of experience in teaching, research, and academic administration in reputed institutions all across the nation. Sir has been associated with the Royal Group from its inception in 2009 as the founder director of the institution. Before the move, the Amity Group in 2013 and joined as the senior vice president academics and was responsible for functioning six MET campuses all over the world. He has also served as vice chancellor of the MET University Chhattisgarh for two years before joining the Assam Royal Global University in 2016. With the vision and hard work of Professor Singh, the university has been ranked number one private university of Assam by the education world within a span of just three years. has uh, because of his motivation only made the Royal Global University. I welcome you, sir. Sir, please uh, enlighten us with your words of wisdom. Thank you yes, so much. Sir. You have to keep your mic always near to your mouth. Otherwise, in between, we could not hear anything. Sir, good morning, everyone present. Uh, thank you so much, Abhijek Das, for your introduction of mine. Uh, uh, dear participants and most esteemed speaker for the day, uh, Mr. Nishad Kudus, who is Associate Professor in Jamia Hamdard University in Delhi. And uh, he probably has done his master's also from Jamia Hamdard and is a man of osteomyology. Osteomyology is his specialization. And I think today we are going to discuss about musculoskeletal sorry. problems due to work. So, sorry to interrupt, he is not a man, I suppose, sir. What? Oh, okay. Okay. She's a lady. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I missed, uh, uh, I missed Madam Nishat, uh, uh, Miss Nishat Kudus. So I think I just missed this because I got the information very late. Thank you so much, Abhishek Das, for correcting me. And. Uh, so we are very because you know we are you are not visible also on the screen so that has also can 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 we see you madam kudus 
ma'am is visible sir but not to me let me check first otherwise i could have not done this mistake so you are visible on the second screen on mine and put him on the first screen and 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 and, and you know you have to pin her there so that we all can see her first so i somehow missed i'm so sorry for that but then uh, probably it was just uh, missed because i was reading your profile nowhere i seen your photo nowhere i've seen anything so you know the very very well so thank you so much for giving your time today zamia hamdard university i remember my uh, university days uh, when i was a student of delhi university in campus law center and when you used to visit that area that was a jungle that a deserted place called <laughs> near, near kutub minar and we used to travel in that area and we used to think that uh, what kind of university this is what is happening in this university is it is it something to do with hamdard hamdard was a you know company <laughs> hamdard you know so all those things i remember my school days uh, dr nishad so i was really very, very fond to know about this university then to today somebody from hamdard university is going to speak and interact with us i was very excited i personally am facing some problem on my left shoulder that is not uh, locked shoulder or maybe anything like that but that was before covid times and ujwal ji knows it very very well and i am doing some exercise for that okay. but it is definitely a musculo skeletal problem that i know very well so i am really uh, very very excited to hear from you but i will be with you for another 20 25 minutes then we have a selection committee meeting online again so i may be excused for that and my best wishes to you dr nishad and uh, thank you very much for joining us today and i'm very sure that my students of medical sciences pharmacy physiotherapy they will be really enlightened today from your discourse thank you so much thank you thank you uh, thank you sir thank you uh, uh, moving on uh, we have audible? among us am i audible and visible yes ma'am yes, you are ma audible, audible but your your voice is little it can be a little louder if you can bring your mic near to you okay now Is it clear? Clear? Is it clear now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It's clear. Yeah. Uh, moving on, we have amongst us Dr. Nishat, ma'am, who is currently working as an associate professor in the Department of Rehabilitation Science in Jamia Hamdard. Ma'am is having more than sixteen years of experience in teaching, research, and administration. Ma'am holds a, a master's degree in osteomyology and also currently pursuing her PhD from Jamia Hamdard. Ma'am is a member of the curriculum task force committee nominated by the Government of India Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. She has also served as an official physiotherapist in the Commonwealth Games India 2020. She has been the director, uh, district coordinator of South Zone Delhi. of the indian association of physiotherapist omen cell since 2018 ma'am has many awards under her name prominent among which are significant contribution academic awards in 2012 and 2018 academic excellence award twice in the year 2017 along with a certificate of appreciation for dedicated services and support to special olympics bharat 2014 She has more than 30 publications in international and national index journals. Moreover, Ma'am is a scientific committee member of the Indian Journal of Physiotherapy and Occupational Therapy. It is my privilege to welcome you, Ma'am, and look forward to hear from you. The participants are requested to drop their questions in the question and answer box while Ma'am is speaking. Ma'am, over to you. The mic is all yours. Thank you. Thank you very much for your kind words. Uh, yes, Pleasure sir, is I will start with the presentation. And before I start off, I hello. Yes, ma'am. You are audible, ma'am. Okay. before i start off i would like to say a very good morning ladies and gentlemen and uh, i would really like to thank our honorable vice chancellor professor dr sp singh 
Royal Global University, Professor A. K. Buraguhai, Chairperson Academics, Professor Hitumani Kaur, Dean Cum Principal, Royal School of Medical and Allied Health Sciences, Dr. Ujwal Bhattacharya, Dr. Abhijit Das, for inviting me as a speaker of today's webinar. And it gives me immense pleasure to contribute particularly to the state I belong. Uh, Vice Chancellor, sir, I actually uh, belong to Assam and my uh, city is Guwahati. And uh, I hope today's webinar uh, would benefit uh, with all my information what I'm trying to give to this discussion. And uh, well, uh, as we start off with our uh, webinar, I, I feel uh, the world is, has confronted so many pandemics, not so many, but few of the pandemics before. But I think most of us present here today have never ever thought of experiencing such a kind of situation, which would totally change our life. Home has become our offices, home has become schools and conferences and seminars are all in the webinar form. It's like the whole world has come to the grip of our hands. But there is the sharpest contraction of the global economy at this time, and many health issues and physical health hazards have escalated during this lockdown period. And due to the discontinuity of the regular outdoor activities or exercises, the metabolic and immunological functions have declined, and diseases like diabetes and, and uh, thyroidism has become uncontrolled. And we know that sleep has also become disturbed, which in turn has led to hypertension, depression, and many other mental issues. I'm very sorry to say at this point of time, the vaccine of the SARS-CoV-2 is yet to come. And the risk of getting infected by it remains high. We have a long way to go, and this pandemic has forced us to work from home for an extensive period of time. In one way, it has given us opportunity to work and stay safe at home. At the same time, there are many challenges. The health impact on the pandemic is enormous, and we don't realize and take and measures perhaps, if we don't take measures at this point of time, the day is soon we would have and land up with another pandemic that is the musculoskeletal disorder pandemic. With no or little physical exercises and a sedentary job style, work from home culture, using the technological gadgets like computers, laptops, mobiles, and others, with less ergonomically designed home environment, which is a working environment at this present situation, have all resulted into many musculoskeletal disorder manifestations, imposing further economical burden on tomorrow's society. Well, today I'm going to discuss about the musculoskeletal problems arising during the lockdown period, and the way how we can manage or avert these problems. Good ergonomics, physical exercises are invaluable for maintaining good physical and mental health in this current challenges which has imposed, which has been imposed due to the COVID-19. Well, the topic of today's discussion is averting musculoskeletal problems due to work from home culture during COVID-19. I would touch upon these topics. Can you see my presentation, Abhishek? Sorry, ma'am. Uh, I think you have stopped your screen sharing. Abhishek, can you see my presentation? Ma'am, I think you have stopped your screen sharing. Now, ma'am, it's visible. It's visible now, ma'am. Can you see my presentation? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma 
it's visible. Yeah, uh, technology has given us opportunity. Technology has given us opportunity of amidst this era of pandemic, but there are many hazardous effects. And now, who is affected? The adults who are at work from home, and also said enough. The children who is now suffering from the online schooling system, because follow an awkward posture while using the laptops and the computers. I many of many a times find the children with a lot of problems and the problems in children are like obesity, but also with the pain in the, uh, uh, the back and the shoulder muscles where there are tight muscles because they come in a very wrong posture for so many hours, three, four hours of the schooling. Well, other problems are also there, like the metabolic and the endocrinological problems, diabetes and hypo and the hyperthyroidism problem. Uh, diabetes, because we all know that uh, these are all uh, related, strongly correlated with the physical activity, even hypo, hypo and the hypothyroidism cases. Because with the physical activity, there are uh, these problems would be decreased. Physiological effects of these physical activities are several. And Fitbit activity tracker during this lockdown has shown a significant decline in the steps taken. And studies done by Shad et al. in 2019 showed that one week of reduced step count by 91 significant reduced reduces the fibro, fibrillar uh, component of the protein synthesis rate and thus there is muscle atrophy and weakness and uh, the human physiology as we know responds quickly to the uh, reduced physical exercises and ad activity there are adverse at the same time there are adverse collateral effects of covid-19 pandemic and obesity and which in turn give, has given rise to many more diseases as we know obesity is a house for many more diseases also, we have seen a lot of depression. We have seen a lot of depression also in, seen in most of the cases. And uh, there are other mental issues. All these would be correlated to uh, uh, the problems uh, with the physical activities and exercises. And there are visual problems also at the same time. But these visual problems I will not deal with it. I would only deal with the musculoskeletal. Uh, the musculoskeletal problem largely results from the mechanical load resulting from the excessive or repetitive. That means our uh, spine, God has made the spine in such a way to bear the load of the head, to bear the load of the weight of the body. So if we are excessively loading them, how can this excessive loading occur due, due to the awkward position of the body? Uh, the position what should be in a neutral weight position where the spine like the cervical spine, it bears the weight of the head. So that head has around 5 to 5 to 5.5 kg weight in adult normal. So the cervical spine bears the weight so what happens is if we are wrongly sitting, in, we are sitting in a wrong posture. So what would happen that the biomechanics would change and there would be increased loading on the cervical spine. All these would also, we have seen a lot of problems like headaches coming up. Which it is not the problem of the headache actually, it is secondarily developing because of the cervical pain. There, you have, we have also seen a lot of shoulder pain cases with a lot of use of the computers, keyboards, also tennis elbow, carp carpal tunnel syndrome. These are also being uh, seen as cases.
also there are low back cases stiffness sciatica coccydemia what is coccydemia it is a pain in the tailbone region so uh, for a long if the chair is hard and we are sitting for quite a long time that is also again harmful because it pays uh, puts a lot of pressure upon the uh, the tailbone for a long time and then this may also lead to the wrong biomechanics and then we may end up with coccydemia again uh, we have seen that this another term i would like to share with you the gluteal amnesia or the dead butt syndrome so which is now commonly used because uh, we are more into the sedentary lifestyle and we are more uh, like into the gadget world of computers and all and during this work from home culture we are most of the time sitting and working upon whether we are uh, creating lectures webinar so all these things have resulted into uh, the problems with the amnesia means to forgetting something so gluteal the gluteal muscle is at the back just behind the lumbar spine lumbar spine so the gluteal muscle forgets about what it is supposed to do and it as it becomes weak so it is sometimes called a dead butt syndrome so these are all arising due to the problem of uh, uh, this uh, long sitting so what are the causes basically it is uh, the uh, poor ergonomics ergonomics uh, welcome to it what is ergonomics it is the environment what needs to be created for a better uh, and easy uh, use of any kind of uh, instrument or, or any kind of work the person is doing uh, for proper biomechanics a uh, poor awkward posture so this diagram again shows that how a laptop uh, this person is using and uh, i would like to tell this laptop thing actually has a right term that laptop means it is to be used on the lap but uh, the person created it that techno person must have never ever thought that what are the problems it is going to give in future when a person is actually going to use the laptop on the lap and going to work because what we see the head is again uh, put under the forward head posture and uh, uh, the back is again hunched then uh, look at the knee how it is placed and this laptop again i would like to tell you that it, when it has been uh, the studies have been done and found that the male fertility level decreases with the use of laptop because of these radiated hot uh, this uh, temperature which has been created by the laptop it is a hapus a hazardous effect not only to the musculoskeletal uh, problem but uh, to the human race itself there's a evolution been taken the means mutation may occur due Uh, again, I would like to talk the cause of musculoskeletal problems during this work from home culture. It is a repetitive strain injury. Now, what is this repetitive strain? In repetitive word means to use again and again. Why is it straining? Because we are not giving enough time to the musculoskeletal uh, system, that is the muscles, the tendons, and the bone, that is the skeletal system, to relax for a particular period of time. so when it is um, not given so much of time to relax the position of the muscles the position of the disc of the uh, uh, the spine it is not coming back to the own position so with repetitive use and not giving rest what can happen these muscles will not work actually how it is supposed to work and it would weaken and the strain would be there at the bone level at the muscular level at the tendon level giving the strain to the muscles so also inactivity or in inappropriate physical activity is again a big problem nowadays what is happening during this period pandemic uh well are other problems also i would uh, like to uh, this is again i you would see that what is happening sorry to interrupt ma'am this is a person using the computer and this is the laptop so all structures see the distance between the knee i'm very sorry to interrupt ma'am you have stopped sharing your screen uh, is the screen visible no ma'am it's not visible actually 
the flexors flexors of the hip they become tight so as a compensatory mechanism there is increase in this lumbar lordosis which is not increase in the lumbar lordosis is also not fine because uh, the weight which has to be borne by the entire spine would uh, definitely uh, deviate and that would be hazardous to the, uh, the human uh, anatomical structure in long run there is also protruded belly well uh, this protruded belly is uh, also very commonly seen now in, in, after this lockdown period and uh, this is what and in the joints are again uh, 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 undergoes dysfunction there are many researches which also show this this uh, when upper cross syndrome and lower cross syndrome occurs together it is stratification syndrome Uh, they, this is again while if we sit in this posture where we are just uh, slumming down and sitting casually that also should not be the work culture while we are using it because this what happens there is posterior tilting of the pelvic so in that case also this is a harmful thing or uh, for the musculoskeletal system because certain muscles get activated highly activated and certain muscles becomes uh, highly activated then they become tight so they are not uh, having an optimal length of the muscles during that period of time and uh, and when the muscles become weak what happens they are weak so they are not able to perform the activity rightly so they are they get early there is early fatigue uh, again this is so common this is the trigger points uh, arises at the scapular region the supraspinatus region where the trapezius is there but at the back the, the rhomboides because uh, they are over when we are using the computer for a long time in an incorrect posture again the muscles get over activated or hyper irritable spots arises those are the trigger points here so these are very painful points they become taut and you uh, once uh, palpated you'll find some nodular kind of thing it's like a p under uh, just underneath the sheet if you feel it there are no dews so it is kind of that kind of feeling you have it and there is a facial pain also which starts off so these are the problems which are generally seen also this is again uh, what i was talking about the repetitive strain or stress injury so this what happens is there are many of them which are arising due to particularly the use the units for these gadgets so what happens this is again tennis elbow why this lady might have uh, the tennis elbow because <clears throat> if we observe her elbow is like hanging it is not it is not uh, uh, placed uh, on or rested and her muscles are activated here again here again the problem is at at these muscle muscular group extensor carpi radialis longus uh, radialis brevis extensor digitorum longus so all these become uh, inflamed due to the use of the posture in a wrong way so all these results in uh, this is called the tennis elbow or in our terms and more often this is a lateral epicondylitis due to the repetitive stress and these all these could be avoided when i'll be talking on in the management i will tell you how these could be avoided and you can work very uh, nicely without all these things again this is very common and this is devastating because what happens it's a very small thing there's a median nerve which passes to the carpal tunnel so it's uh, here so what happens is um, what happens is like when we are using the mouse when we are using the mouse the uh, this uh, wrist is getting too much flex or too much extended while we are using the mouse so what happens is like we are using for a long time the median nerve gets compressed because it is not getting enough space within this carpal tunnel so when it is not getting so the, the because it may be the tendons which are weared off or there is fatigue this occurring so there's a uh, inflammation at the tendon level again uh, compresses these uh, this 
median nerve and with the repetitive use of the mouse in a wrong posture this may lead to this problem so and there is also ulnar deviation while we are using uh, the mouse which is in a um, extended or a flex form with the ulnar deviation ulnar is the why we call the ulnar uh, bone is here and this when we deviate our wrist towards uh, this uh, uh, ulnar side so we are calling it ulnar deviation all these problems arises when grave uh, rise to this chronic repetitive syndrome that is the uh, carpal tunnel next is a uh, like we are coming on to the management which is very important and uh, management i would like to say it is a holistic approach it is the responsibility of uh, it is a responsibility of the companies it is a responsibility of the university the schools and the uh, managerial part to give the guidance how to use uh, these gadgets in a good ergonomically designed home atmosphere not getting fancy chairs or something like that just uh, as we know the indian people are have very good jugar system so this jugar system would very well uh, give you a good ergonomically self designed environment what i would say and uh, these uh, would, should be held by the uh, the administrators um, having awareness program on the mental health and uh, well being of the people in context using the computer at the same time there should be short breaks the short breaks in between the classes which the school children are having uh, within 30 to 40 45 minutes there should be break of 10 15 minutes so that uh, there uh, the muscles are getting enough time to relax at the same time we should also use this short break for physical activities rather i would say activities more than activities exercise exercise why i am telling because we would try to concentrate on that particular group of muscles whether it is relaxation strengthening or strengthening and uh, the key goals are reducing pain inflammation patient education prevention of the um, prevention and through the exercises preventive exercises should be given maintenance of good posture and well being and advise proper ergonomics uh, exercises should be to maintain the strength of the muscle as well as maintaining the optimal length of the muscle optimal means a proper length what uh, required so as to minimize the strain and stress upon the muscles and the bones that is the skeletal system the joints of the uh, the vertebra and other group of muscles the peripheral joints uh, exercises could be preventive curative rehabilitative maintenance and and for enhancing the performance so i would uh, rather say that preventive is the best more than if preventive is better than cure so we should work more on the averting these problems and preventing these problems which really uh, don't uh, land us up to the curative stage so now if we work upon it again i would like to talk about the forward head posture which is not uh, right so what there are simple exercises for this this is a chin tucking exercises but these exercises are to be performed properly because the head needs to be straight the head needs to be straight the spine the cervical spine needs to be straight and the double chin chin double chin should be created while tucking in tuck in for 5 to 10 seconds and then relax and relax so these exercise this is again the sternocleidomastoid stretch where we can see the sort of the round circle this is the sternocleidomastoid which is again responsible this is a diagonally placed uh, muscle and which is responsible for the forward head posture if it fails so we have more of the forward head posture so this forward head posture is resulting because of the anterior muscles getting weakened as we have discussed in the upper a uh, cross syndrome the anterior muscles the colony muscles the collagen muscles they become weakened so we need to strengthen it with the chin tuck 
and certain muscles what i have so shown in the upper cross syndrome with titan so those muscles should be like the anterior scalene stretch should be there so these would uh, give an optimal stretch so the what the pain is felt at the region at the back of the head that is a protruded part of the head and immediately when we dip down there is a, a cervical spine in that region also we start having feeling a tightness uh, a suffocating kind of uh, feeling what we have so that could be if we do the stretching of these muscles it would this would uh, help in declining this headache problem again these are levator scapulae is again tight with a forward head posture so these these two uh, figures uh, are uh, for the levator scapulae this is upper trapezius stretching down here so this is a very simple exercise for stretching where the, you can see the person is holding the chair down suppose if you want to stretch the right upper trapezius you hold the chair with this hand down as it has they have been doing so and hold it here hold your head and stretch it to the opposite shoulder so this would stretch you would have a stretch around this particular hypophysis again this pectoralis stretch the muscles here are the pectoralis major and minor so these muscles these muscles would be stretched easily at home if you can go to a corner where there is a triangle uh, if you can see the triangle where the two walls join so you have to place one hand on um, one wall and the other on the other wall and you place the foot down straight on the floor and the weight of the body whole body should move forward while place fixing the hand so you'll feel a stretch upon the pectoralis muscle this is again when very easy pectoralis stretch and other anterior structure stretch this is easily remembered by y w l t if you see the figures here it is a w figure alphabet then the w uh, y figure l figure and t figure this is a posture what we are attending as w l t and what we will do is normal breathing through the nose and breathing out through the mouth so with these uh, we we keep this uh, uh, stretch structures stack position for around 30 seconds and then repeat it these are to be repeated as a uh, like few of the exercises could be done after every break of 30 to 45 minutes and again a few exercises could be done in another rest uh, 30 to 40 minutes so if we give an alarm there are many apps also now developed as well as you can just set an alarm that it is now 45 minutes and now we just need to relax and uh, put our muscles to uh, good uh, position and uh, relax it. this is again uh, i'm i want to show you uh, uh, this is shoulder relaxation exercises where you would be rolling the shoulder ahead just sitting straight and rolling it back and also this could be done with the anterior rolling this girl is doing a posterior rolling you can do the anterior rolling at the same time so if you do it right now also you will feel all the muscles relax just immediately after doing this particular exercise you feel relaxed after some time so and immediately rather so this can be continued in between uh this is again a very simple exercise we are sitting on a chair we are just uh, we can rotate our trunk and we are stretching the back muscles and uh, in in maintaining our flexibility and uh, this is again the lateral stretch we can just stand up and uh, just uh, laterally but we have to remember one thing that not just bending how and uh, it should be in a straight or when we are bending it should be in a straight the hand should be straight so that the stretch is felt where it is supposed to be felt i'll just put an arrow so as to can uh, understand that better this is again just standing up and doing some back extension exercise 
again, uh, the back muscles get tight when we're talking about the lower cross syndrome. So what was happening that the, we said that the erector spinae muscles again tightens. So to do this, these are very simple exercises which could be performed inside the, your own home setup and uh, you can avoid all these and prevent all these back problems and other problems as well. Uh, this, these are uh, certain and as uh, many of us already do yoga, so this uh, won't be a problem I think to just follow these. But we need to remember that if you are already having a PIVD, that is a prolapse disc at the lumbar spine, we should not follow like the, uh, this kind of exercise. We need to take advice of the physiotherapist or ortho doctors also, so as to have a so there is no problem. The, the, this, uh, the prolapse. Uh, these are certain exercises which you can certainly do it and prevent the problems. What we are saying. So quadriceps exercises or knee extension strengthening, this, uh, the second figure with the lady just putting her uh, leg uh, and her thighs on top of a bed. This is nothing but a bed, it's a high bed where she's putting it and see the legs, they are parallel to the ground. Only we need to remember that the proper biomechanics, the straight posture and all these postures should be good. That would not create another problem. If you are doing it in the wrong way, it's of no use. Again, erectus femoris stretch. That is, uh, again, uh, what the problem, what I was uh, telling about the hip flexor tightness and all. So these uh, problems would be solved. The uh, ergonomics, which is a very important thing to follow. Because all these exercises uh, uh, need to be followed. That is true. But at the same time, we need to prevent which are causing the bad posture. So ergonomic basically means the process of designing and redesigning by modification of the job, workplace, workstation, and the environment uh, of your home or any setup so that they fit the worker. And for you uh, using them and to reduce the strain, weight fatigue, and uh, uh, the injuries. So, and these, this is what I was talking about, the neutral wrist position that needs to be followed. And here I would like to tell now the uh, wrist rest has come. So what this wrist rest does is it gives uh, a uh, rest to the structure so that you have a neutral position while using the wrist. It is not in an extended or a flex position. So as if you don't have a wrist rest at home, what you can do is like have a, a towel, a face towel or a little bigger towel and a, a thin one and uh, or the uh, uh, gamusa also, you can uh, use a gamusa also to take uh, two gamusa could be used for a, as a wrist rest. Also, another thing I would say we are again, I would repeat that Indians are good regards. Uh, Sister Indians have a good yoga system. If you're, I will talk about the height of the screen of the computer or the laptop. And if you do not have the appropriate height, don't worry about it. No, I'm just, I can't do anything about it. You can definitely do it. And uh, that is uh, presently, I am also using uh, books. Honestly, telling you, just on uh, thick books. So, so you can use anything, magazines, books, or stack it just below the. Uh, stand of the computer or the laptop and then uh, put an appropriate height. That's more important. Uh, this is what is a very important uh, thing to understand. Here, uh, what I would tell the eye, uh, the, just have to draw uh, an imaginary line from the eyesight to the top of the screen, it, uh, top of the computer edge. So the screen just begins after, uh, say, uh, one inch below. Uh, sometimes if it is an older version of computer, it would be one and a half inch below. So the level should be such that the screen is not supposed to be more than 15 degree of angle. The edge, the edge could be at the eyesight and screen should not be more than 15 degrees, the beginning of the screen. And the end of the screen, at the beginning of the screen, if we join it, this way, so it forms an angle that is a viewing angle. The viewing angle also should not be more than 60 degrees. 
but it should be lesser it's I mean, a little better so it that is again one point the second point i would like to take about the risk which should be in the neutral position here again the uh, for the elbow the there are chairs which has got armrest so if you do not have an armrest chair at that is absolutely fine what you can do is move your laptop more towards the wall or just be a little bit fine on your table and at the same time put your elbows on top of the desk so by placing the elbows and supporting it in a horizontal position almost in a horizontal position with the table you are allowing the muscles of the extensor ribs of the toes to relax and your shoulder to relax so the problems with the shoulder as well as the forearm would be uh, decreased why because your muscles are not activated it is working only to maintain the posture that is so if it is if it is too much of uh, um, overloading too much of uh, hypertone which increases that would cause problem and that is because when you're placing the elbow just hanging if your elbows are hanging down the table as i've shown it one in, in one of the pictures where the people were fixing it so these would cause the problem again another thing is the distance there should be a distance between the knee and the cushion edge of uh, the place where you are sitting because the nerves on uh, the structures get tightened and uh, the it, there should be a little gap in between the edge of the chair and the um, and the second fact is that while you are sitting the foot should be placed on the floor and if you find that your chair is a little bit higher and you're not able to reach the floor so what you can do is a simple task get a foot that's it so getting a foot rest again you're relaxing the group of muscles the knee mus muscles and, and how it should be biomechanically fixed that is again again another fact is the lumbar spine the lumbar spine should be in such a position that it is attached or you are just at the uh, level where you are uh, attaching your lumbar uh, touching with the seat at the back <clears throat> so in that case what would happen is you are supporting the lumbar spine and you are not overloading the lumbar uh, spine uh, in particular so and your muscles are uh, relaxed again this is uh, i love this uh, image and i place it in many place because uh, look at our ancestors who were in this form and i believe that uh, have you ever seen or ever uh, a vet uh, talking about back ache in a dog a cat or a cow i don't think so because you know uh, uh they are better in this biomechanical because they are walking and using whole limbs while walking and doing all their uh, adls i would say so what happens is that the human being has evolved and now we are using we are the unique organism in this uh, planet and we are using the limbs to live so that has put a lot more on our uh, spine on our body so that has created a lot of problems and of course we our brain has also evolved we are all becoming very intelligent uh, group of organisms and we are also destroying the nature that let's take care of that also at the same time uh, we have created this technology this technology we tried to save it and we are, to a large extent we have a large extent honestly we have but now what we have seen that they have made us slave they have uh, they have uh, they are ruling upon us we are having a lot of problems with the health issue using all these gadgets and that true we we know that we are intelligent people and if we take up all these ergonomical advices we take up and uh, take proper care of our musculoskeletal system our posture definitely we will not allow these technologies to control have a control upon us let's uh, be uh, intelligent people and i think in the we should uh, uh, do something for our own selves to get into place and shape uh, and this is uh, my i truly believe from my heart that prevention is better than cure uh, this is my take home message 
uh, another message I would say that we should not only work hard, but we should work smart because, and we should remember health is. And I would just uh, end my topic today with the Kelly Clarkson's uh, thought. God will never give you anything you can't have. So don't stress. Have it. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you so much, ma'am. For this wonderful you. session. Uh, it was a great learning experience. I'm sure many of us will incorporate your suggestions in our day-to-day -day life. Uh, as we, now, let's move on to the question and answer round. And a lot of questions have been coming to us, uh, as I see in the chat box. But due to lack shortage of time, we'll be taking only a few. Ma'am, uh, if it's okay, then I start with the question and answer round. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, as I can see, uh, our uh, Dean of Ral School of Medical and Allied Sciences, Kitumoni Ma'am, has also uh, joined us. So, uh, uh, before moving on to the question and answer round, I would like to welcome our Dean Ma'am, uh, Dr. Kitumoni Kaur Ma'am, uh, for the uh, concluding remarks session. Professor Gitumani Kaur is presently working as the Dean Cum Principal uh, of the Royal School of Nursing and the Royal School of Medical and Allied Sciences of the Assam Royal Global University. She is the former HOD of the Department of Medical Surgical Nursing of the Regional College of Nursing. She has a vast experience of teaching, administration and research over 23 years. Uh, she was given the rank of lieutenant by the Indian Territorial Army, uh, uh, Territorial ah. Army for the PhD guidance <laughs> by the Srimantar Shankardev Health University. Ma'am has been awarded with a number of awards, prominent among which are the Educational Leadership Award, Omen Researcher Award, and Race 2020, uh, Race 2020 Indian Award for Distinguished Professor. Ma'am has been holding a number of additional professional roles, including the Zonal Secretary of Nursing Research Society of India. She is the editor and reviewer of numerous scientific journals, and she has also reviewed a number of uh, books for the nursing students. Uh, Ma'am, we are very much honored to have you among us, and we will be very much honored to hear from you. Mike is all yours, Ma'am. Thank you, Mr. for giving me the opportunity. But I could have spoken after the question and answer round. It was not a problem. I was there from the beginning. Okay, ma'am. I, I, I didn't that. like to put my video on because too many video on means people will be distracted. Someone's I request I your. I request all the. I request uh, all the uh, participants to kindly mute their audio. Okay, so today we have very wonderful session with the musculoskeletal problems, which has been created by the work from home culture. As all of us we know, now we are we are working from home, and everybody may not have the with uh, necessity what we are getting in the work environment or the table say what, what we are having in the work. But now, as we have learned from, uh, from our guest today, Dr. Nishat Kudus, who has given us wonderfully on the topics, he has dealt with all the expect of the musculoskeletal problems. So uh, I'd like to thank Madam Dr. Nisha Kudus for giving her wonderful talk and taking the time to prepare the PowerPoint presentation with the pictures as well as with the video and making the session so lively. I have enjoyed your session. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. So as we are on the lockdown and we are working from the phone, most of us, we are working with the laptop. As ma'am has given very nicely, what are the problems can be created due to use of laptops. So it is very important 
though we are at home, as Mem was telling again and again, we are very much a custom junior system. So we should be doing our part and making our work where we are sitting. It should be as much as comfortable as possible. As much as like we are working in our office. And it is very much common problem is repetitive stress injury. And because of not sitting on the proper place, either sitting on the couch or sitting on the bed or lying on the bed with the laptop and walking. If we do such behaviors, that we are also going to end up with back aches, shoulder pain, neck pain, as then carpet tunnel syndrome, then tennis elbow, all those were going to happen. So what is very important for us, another important aspect is psychological work. If we are stressed too much, as we are having family walks, all now we have to do ourselves, we have to take care of the work, we, get, we have to take care of the family, especially the females. So we have double work now. So to overcome that double work, we are having stress also. So to reduce the stress, we have to do all the exercises and as madam was doing very nicely with the, with the photographs i think all the participants were very much benefited with the posters what everyone has given so i request everybody to follow those although from the beginning we are following some and another very important eye problem so we should keep the desktop or laptop in a distance in one arm Distance so that uh, there is less problem on the vision. And as much as possible, we should sit on the erect posture, sitting on a desk, uh, sitting on a table. This is large enough so that we can keep our laptop or desktop or with the other supplies, whatever we need properly. And our hand should be rest on the table so that it is not hanging, so that it is not. Creating problem like carpet tunnel syndrome or tennis elbow. I am also a victim of tennis elbow. Abhishek knows very well who has treated me also. After I suffer only, I came to know oh, this is the reason why I am suffering. So this this class or this webinar will be very beneficial to me. I have not developed for that. And after I develop, as I, we are having Mr. Dal Patrasarya and Abhishek Pras. Both of them has treated me, and now I am all right. And now I follow that I'm not keeping my hand hanging down, my wrist and my elbow is rested on the desktop. So, with that, I got cured. So, I hope all the participants will be following this. And it is very important for our children because nowadays, children, children are also have to be on the mobile with the classes or on the laptop with the classes. So with the parents who see that we are giving them, them adequate, they are sitting on the table, they are sitting on the chair with the back support, their legs should not be hanging, legs should be supported, and they are keeping their hand on the desktop. This is very, very important. Ministry of Human Resource Development, they have given the timing, how much timing should be for the different classes people, how much timing for online classes, but it has been observed that uh, main, mainly the private schools, they are not following. They are going with four to five classes every day, whether up to class seven or class eight, there should be only two classes per day. So they are not developing the shoulder defect or the leg pain or the back pain or even along with their eye. So it is very important. And as if the children were sitting now in the computer in later on because of the more time sitting, they may be developing like hypertension, diabetes, colitis. So it is very important we encourage the children to go walk around in between where what in the timing, five minutes, ten minutes gap later. We encourage them for dancing or exercises to so all those who will be helping. And I have been go, going to a coherent review where they have given some tips how to overcome that. The um, optimization of the work environment, I have already spoken. Prevention of eye problems, as ma'am was telling, it should be reduced 60 degree angle. Access for pain 
uh, actions for pain of lower back and neck solution. Sit erect as much as possible. Then walk break. In between the walk break of five minutes also will help us to remove our booster and reduce the tension, build up tension on the muscles. And when we are at home, it is preferable, it, it should be advisable to walk the stairs, not using the lift. And morning walk, listening to music, because most of the problems were originated from our psychology and reduction of stress is important. So once the stress is reduced, definitely other problems also will be reduced. So uh, with this, I'd like to conclude as Madam has given very beautifully all the exercises. Uh, all of us also will be following from tomorrow or today itself. As Mem was sewing the shoulder rotation, once he was sewing, I was doing myself. I feel relaxed immediately, as Mem was telling, immediately we get relaxed. Definitely, all those exercises, if we perform, we will be feeling better. And as I was doing the exercises, whatever was taught to me by Ohusek Das and Jelva Chasario, I was getting really relief from tennis elbow at all now. So that's why I advise all the people, whatever exercises has been given today, to, to follow that. And uh, we'll be happy, ma'am, if you could share your PPT with us so that we can make it available on the Facebook or internet so that everybody can use it. Even our today's webinar is live in the Facebook, so that also I think most of the people were watching it and all are getting benefited out of it. So once again, thank you so much, madam, for your beautiful, elaborated, and excellent uh, talk. So we will hope to meet you once again and we would be happy if we can have any interaction in future with your department or we can have any collaboration with your department or with your university in the near future. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your valuable contribution and valuable inputs. Uh, we are very much thankful. I, I hope the, everyone or all the participants are very much enlightened to hear from you. Uh, now, with due permission from Nishat, ma'am, I would like to start with the question and answer round, if it's okay, ma'am. Ma'am, am I audible? Ma'am, am I audible to you? Hello, ma'am. Nishat ma'am. Nishat ma'am. Uh, can you hear? Hello. Hello. Hello ma'am. Yes. Can you hear me ma'am? Doctor Abhil Singh. Yes ma'am. Can you hear me? Can you hear me ma'am? Doctor. Hello, ma'am. Can you hear me? Now I can hear. Can you hear me, ma'am? Hello. Am I audible to you, ma'am? Yes, yes. Okay, ma'am. Uh, due permission, uh, I would like to start with the question and answer round. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Sure. Okay, ma'am. A lot of questions are coming in the chat box. Uh, I shall be reading it to you guys, uh, reading it to you so that you can answer it uh, for the students and the participants. Ma'am, the first question is, uh, should we apply hot compress or cold compress in case of muscle tightness over the neck and shoulder occurring due to prolonged sitting and working conditions? Yes, uh, I would like to, it's a very important question. Uh, if there is tightness, means we need to also ch check like if it is a trigger point what i have uh, discussed so in that case i would rather prefer a cold compression or a back uh, because the areas are already inflamed if it is a trigger point or if it is a ten uh, tennis elbow if it is in the acute phase where the pain is unbearable and it has occurred at that phase it is in the inflammation so 
what we should do is go for a cold bath but while if we are after some time sometimes if we neglect it what happens is uh, before um, it undergoes into chronicity so when it has ma'am ma'am you are not audible ma'am Shat, ma'am, you're not audible. Hello, Shat, ma'am. Hello. Hello, Shat, ma'am. I hope I'm audible. Your voice is breaking. Hello. Oh, ma'am, can you hear me, ma'am? Doctor Ma'am, can you hear me now? Now I can hear you. Yes. Okay. Do okay. you hear my answer? Yes, yes, ma'am. Uh, it was. Ma'am, uh, it was audible, but uh, it was a break for some some moment of time. Okay, I would just start off in one line that if it is in the acute phase, we should definitely give the whole compression or a cold pad. The reason behind this. That it the area is inflamed. When an area is inflamed, if you put hot uh, things hot, it gets more. The, it things becomes aggravated. What when the phase becomes uh, comes to chronic phase, we can either use hot pack or a cold pack. Both. Okay. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your answer, ma'am. The next question is: Is sleeping without pillow good for neck and shoulder pain and stiffness? Uh, if pillow should be used. it should be a very thin pillow where your shoulder should not be coming to a impinged structure it should not be coming to the because if we use a very thick pillow what would happen that the head is get coming to a forward head posture and uh, your shoulders would also come to a rounded posture so rounded posture also compresses all the arteries and the nerves that is why when uh, i'm talking of beat that uh, if we are considering the shoulders frozen shoulder and all also we have to be particularly of using a very thin pillow where our shoulder blade should not be out of the bed there particularly this shoulder it should the back of the shoulder should be touching the bed and the head should not be forward so very thin pillow is fine but a thick pillow is definitely it's a no Okay. Thank you so much, ma'am. Ma'am, the next question: uh, What should we do if there is a formation of nodule in the trigger points that you have shown, other than myofascial release? Uh, well, uh, if it was not locked down, it was a physiotherapist which would handle it very well. I would just tell what a physiotherapist would do, and then I'll come to the home at home what you can do. Actually, with uh, these trigger points. uh the ultrasonic machine which really helps at the same time some nodular massage at that point trigger point with little bit of relaxation but these are highly technique done by a physiotherapist along with some exercises of stretching and strengthening shoulder shrugging is again another exercise i forgot to mention which should be there shoulder shrugging and relaxation so while we are in this lockdown phase we are scared to go Side because of this so called this COVID. So what we can do at home is first of all have a good relaxed posture and exercise. The exercises of the that uh, those particularly the rhomboids and upper trapezius gets tight. So stretching of those particular muscles should be there. At the same time, uh, what you can do is. Uh, Lot of stretching and strengthening exercise along with some packs. Whether you're using a cold pack or a uh, hot pack, and uh, there are um, exercises and also massage. I won't uh, recommend all these things at this point of time. So in, you may not feel the relief immediately because exercise of strengthening and stretching may not give you immediate result as such ultrasound and the uh, a uh, deep friction massage what it is said uh, which could be done by a physician however it's great also we should uh, 
get uh, results with these exercises as well as with the stretching exercise because physiologically the mechanics the pain mechanism also changes because uh, when it is a trigger point what happens is nerves are compressed in between suppose these are two tear muscles which underneath uh, the muscles there are uh, nerves which are passing so when these muscles would be relaxed and uh, are will have an optimal stress what would happen the nerve it can glide properly and the, when the nerve will glide properly it is basically pain occurring also due to when the nerve is compressed so when the muscles are relaxed the nerve will get enough space to move around glide so that would also help in uh, rather the thank you so much ma'am uh, as there is a shortage of time so we will go with the only the last question uh, it is a very important question uh, which i believe is what is the average time period to perform the exercises ma'am the average time period what we should follow as per the researches and the who what it says that at least if we can do first of all while working on the computer we should have a break of 30 to 45 minutes that's a usual thing what we can work in the table area and at home but otherwise what exercises could be followed within the house also that is around at least 5 hours or 300 minutes of moderate intensity exercises and if you are having a vigorous intensity exercises around 3 hours that is 150 minutes should be used as per week is recommended this is a uh, this would uh, act, this act, uh, increase the endurance as well as strength and also with these exercises uh, the pectoralis when it is stretching properly the respiratory group of muscles also work so i think uh, you should have a 5 hour moderate intensity exercise per week it should be it should be followed thank you so much ma'am i think uh, everyone is very much benefited by your answers and i i hope every question has been answered till now okay uh, to conclude the session uh, i would take the opportunity to thank dr ak pansari sir chancellor royal global university professor sp singh sir the vice chancellor of uh, royal global university uh, dr kitumani kaur ma'am dean of Uh, Royal School of Medical and Allied Sciences Dr Ujjal Bhattacharya head of department uh, Royal School of Medical and Allied Sciences department of physiotherapy Dr Nishat Kuddus ma'am for her valuable inputs and uh, her thoughts uh, for uh, and all the contest on all the participants and the faculty members and the students of RGU for their constant support a special thanks has to be given to the IT department who has really helped us to smoothly operate this webinar thank you so much everyone stay safe and may god bless us in this difficult time thank you so much for joining thank you thank you all